Tonight, one South Florida man wishes he would have waited a little longer before turning to a dating app. Turns out his date was a setup and he ended up being shot. NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard is live in Miramar with a warning from police. Willard? Yeah, that's right, Jackie. Unfortunately, uh, this date went downhill very rapidly. Uh, this man had been in touch communicating with this young lady over a dating app, invited her to his home behind the security gate here. He opened the gate and she came up to his residence. He didn't know with her two armed men. The Miramar man believed his talks on the dating app had gone well and the time had come for him to meet the woman he was getting to know. In the wee hours early Monday, before sunrise, he invited the woman to his home in the gated neighborhood, and it was an offer she accepted. It was uh, a meetup that was supposed to happen. The man thought everything was going as planned, and he opened the security gate, thinking she was alone, but she wasn't. Unfortunately, she was accompanied by two others as well, and uh, this turned into a home invasion robbery attempt, and uh, it escalated to the point where one of the victims um, was shot. The man Monday posted, I am currently at the hospital, and I was the victim of a home invasion at 4 a.m. I was held at gunpoint, beaten, and shot. Please have faith, and I'll talk to everyone soon. It's expected the man shot will be okay. Another person in the home was roughed up and had to be treated by paramedics. The word from police when using dating apps? We, you know, suggest to everyone, I know that due to the quarantine, people are lonely and so forth. Um, but, you know, try to hold off and meet individuals in a public place when all this is, is over with, of course. We caution everyone uh, to just be careful out there. Um, you may just want to hook up, but... Um, you know, unfortunately, we, we have seen this where, you know, uh, you're planning to have a lot of fun and it ends up being uh, much more than that. The trio fled in the darkness and now police are looking for them and data tracking technology may be the key. So we are working with the dating app. We are using technology and good old fashioned detective work um, to try to solve this case. So that technology very important with this uh, case. They hope, obviously, if they can find this young woman, uh, she presumably knows who these two men were with her, with her at this uh, particular point. And they say, if you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers. We're live tonight in Miramar. Willard Shepard, NBC6 News. Willard.